Yo, what's good people? Welcome to day 74 of the weight loss transformation, the mindset transformation, and most importantly of all, the lifestyle transformation. So 334.6 on the scale to date, baby. Better than I thought it was going to be. I wanted to see that 335 and we've absolutely smashed past it by 0.4 pounds. But still, 334.6 pounds. That is a three pound drop since last week. In a moment, I'm going to crunch the numbers. I'm using my smart scale and we can have some comparisons and have a look at what the numbers are saying. Again, I don't care too much about that, but it's interesting to see and it's interesting to track. I want to get this across as well, people. I'm weighing in later than I normally do. You can probably tell by the bright. I've got the natural light coming in. Does that influence the scale? Not really, but I am weighing about three hours later, actually, than I, I normally would do in the morning. So does that play a part? I don't know. I'm just letting you guys know that might influence it slightly. I mean, it's not going to change too much, but the weight loss we've seen is what I've expected, really, with the 1,000 calorie, calorie? calorie deficit a day. But I'm going to be talking about some more stuff now. Let's get it. So if you're not aware, I'll break it down quick. I have a refeed today. We go six days, high fat, moderate to high protein. And then on the seventh day, I have carbohydrates. The plan for that is lower fat, moderate to high protein, but higher carbs to replenish, glycogen and all these things and mental adherence. I get to include some treats and things that I wouldn't eat throughout the week. This is not an excuse to go absolutely crazy and eat whatever I like. I'm still making choices. My limit is 3,200 calories. That is my maintenance. So we do a 1,000 calorie deficit a day for six days. And then on the seventh day, on the refeed, I eat at my maintenance. That's to give my body a little break of things and replenish. That's the plan. We burn through it for the rest of the week. So I've got recorded calories here, 2,871. And I'm going to show everything on screen. 2,871. I was below my 3,200. What I don't have recorded is I had a bit of a pop tart from my girlfriend. I just had a bite. I didn't want a whole one because I have to be smart with the calories. I don't want to use 300 plus calories, whatever a pop tart is. Um, so had that and I just had some grapes and barbecue sauce on my chicken. I didn't track that. So 2,871 recorded. I mean, we could even round up to 3,000, right? I'll give myself up to 3,000. Was it as high as that? I don't know. I don't really care. So 2,871 calories recorded let's get into what i ate so yogurt fat free because we're lowering the fat we're having higher carbs so i don't want the fat in it uh, frozen fruit about 115 grams maybe a bit more and then a scoop of whey protein mix it all up absolutely delicious one of my favorite meals of all time and that's only 350 calories was it filling absolutely not no that's 300 350 calories my body just soaks it all up. It is quite surreal, actually. It's like I haven't even eaten. I was very hungry after it. And that led me into eating a bowl of cereal. So a bowl of Nesquik, 85 grams. That is 323 calories. So just like that, I've consumed 673 calories. And I wasn't full or anything. Is that because my body's depleting and crying out for some carbs and things and my body just soaks it all up? Maybe, but then these foods aren't very satiating. They're not very satiating. At least to me, there might be to others. If I had fat in the yogurt, obviously it'd be higher calorie, but that would keep me more full of the fat-free stuff. Doesn't keep me up. They get rid of all the good nutrition. So that's quick 600 calories. All tasted very nice. Yes, I ate the cereal plain. I'm insane. I know. I don't know. I don't like soggy cereal. I'm weird. I like the crunch. And to me, it's a treat. I, I, I view cereal as a treat. Having that almost chocolate flavor crunch tastes absolutely amazing to me. But yeah, I get it's a bit weird. So protein cookie. I got this because I bought my brother some pre-workout for his birthday. Yes, yeah, so that's how we do. Jim, 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 lads. No, seriously, he. I, I get him stuff that he can use. And then I got a load of these free drinks with it as well. And they sent me a protein cookie for free. So I ate that. Again, ugh, tastes like dirt, man. I don't like protein cookies. Some of them are good, but that is 325 calories in itself as well. So we've done like almost a thousand calories here, pretty much a thousand calories off these things. Was I full up from this? No, not really. The protein cookie, I did eat, I didn't eat it all in one because it just tastes of dirt. I can't lie. Not really the biggest fan, but that set me off in the morning then. And then a couple of hours went by. Uh, me and my girlfriend, we actually went out uh, to the park for a little bit and I was playing outside and stuff with the dog and things too. So that's to break up the day. Yeah, went out to the park, had a walk, nothing crazy, not not too long. And then came back chicken and potato. This is the main bulk. This is the biggest, highest calorie meal. This gets all our protein and stuff in pretty much for the day. Obviously, we had the morning protein and then this protein. Big 
plate of food. I'm, I, I was quite hungry, like I said, after this. The morning stuff does not satiate me at all. Absolutely not. And again, is it my body wanting to soak it all up? Maybe. Is it just, I don't know. People can argue about volume eating and things. I don't think filling your stomach with a load of food and going volume when it's got zero calories or anything in it actually keeps you full. Some people think it's a mental trick. I'll make another video talking about that. But for me, I don't I don't believe it. I don't feel that. I have, I could eat 700 calories of bacon, high fat. You tap out. I can't eat anymore and I'm full for ages. Eggs and bacon in the morning could be less calories than all this and I'm full. So something to think about but yeah absolutely amazing meal didn't weigh out the uh, barbecue sauce and i didn't have a wrap and cheese this time as well so maybe the calories a bit lower but that's that, that's a big meal in the day and that's pretty much the main food now we go into some snacky things i did eat uh, 50 calories worth of pineapple after that helped digest and as as a sweet treat like pineapple then a few more hours pass uh, me and my girlfriend we're gonna unwind now and just watch some movies or telly or whatever uh, before we go to bed well we started watching the new godzilla but i'm gonna say that for my birthday i think so we stopped watching that and we're watching true blood if anyone's seen true blood i remember seeing it on telly when i was younger it used to be on channel four if, if you're in the uk but i never watched it properly and it's hbo and i love hbo shows so watching that this is where the yeah the fun stuff comes in higher calorie stuff too so a bag of popcorn yes I'm currently eating a bag of popcorn pretty much every refeed. It's like a treat to me. Sat down, relaxing with my girlfriend. Watch, well, it is a treat, not like it is. And that is 520 calories. Whole bag of popcorn. Don't eat it just straight all the time. Like I do spread it out a bit as well. But I'm eating that whole bag of popcorn. If other people say they don't do that, you're a liar. What do you do in the cinema? You have the blimmin' buckets, man. It's easy to eat. So popcorn smashed, Italian biscuit thing. I'm not going to try and say the name of it. I'll embarrass myself. These are very calorie dense. It's literally got white chocolate, normal chocolate, a biscuit, and it's got like a chocolate filling too. Seriously, I ate two packs of them and that is 278 calories. So with those two, we're looking at 798 calories. Crazy, crazy amount. Absolute delicious though. Those biscuits are crazy, but I finished them now. That was my present from Italy. And just on another note, that's a huge win for me because they've been sat in my house for ages. I didn't eat them all last time. And now it's a packet of biscuits has lasted in my house for that long that's a huge win we haven't binged in this time too which is a whole nother win i'll probably speak about that in another video and then had three of these haribo bottles that my girlfriend bought for herself yes i had three a normal serving i would never normally eat normal servings i would just eat the bag for the sake of it and whatever so i had three of them they're quite nice 88 calories there enjoyable right I got to taste it, got to enjoy it, and I didn't feel sick, I didn't feel bad, all this after eating it. I, I got the nice taste, and it makes it that much more enjoyable instead of eating the whole bag of feed rubbish after. So this is another huge win. These are the lifestyle changes that I'm building as well throughout this process. So, Harry Bow Bottles, Aero, these bites as well, I had them last week. I don't really, I've, I've gone off them now. Um, they're a bit sickly to me, especially after that Ital Italian biscuit. It was it was actually getting a bit much for me, all this, even though it wasn't loads, but you think throughout the week I don't really eat any carbs or anything, so it was a bit of a overload, and I had 64 calories worth of them. I had six of them because they're Neapolitan. They come in the three flavors, with the vanilla, strawberry, chocolate, or is it raspberry? I don't know. Someone's probably going to tell me off. So, yeah, I had six of them. 64 calories so that's 2871 recorded calories but say we even round up to 3000 calories here including the sauce the pop tart and other things so all very good going absolutely enjoyed it fantastic day of food could i have eaten a bit more did i want to eat a bit more yeah maybe maybe we're slightly lower it'll be interesting to see what the weigh-in shows tomorrow but let's go break down the numbers. So sorry, people are going to be looking down at my phone again. I have this on, on the screen, obviously. So the 13th of May, that was last week. So you can see actually the exact time I weighed in. I weighed in pretty late last week too. I definitely slept in. My brother was around and stuff on the weekend. And I went to bed late. So that was very late for me to weigh in. And then uh, pretty much quarter past six in the morning this morning. So three pounds exactly. You see in the weight section there, three pounds exactly. That's 0 0.4 BMI. I don't really care about that. Body fat supposedly 0.2%. I want to give a disclaimer here. I don't really believe these numbers too much. I don't care because they can fluctuate daily. It depends what time you go to bed, what, what you've eaten, how much water you've drank. All these things can influence these numbers. But if you look at them over a long period of time, it's interesting to see how they change. So 
fat-free body weight. Um, I'm assuming that's muscle mass and, and other things, obviously. We want that to be as high as possible. So it's saying 196.4 pounds for me. So we, we've gone down a pound in there. That's one we don't actually want to go down in. And that could be for a multitude of reasons again. But subcutaneous fat, 0.2%. Again, doesn't really need too much to me. I don't care too much. But as long as that number is still kind of going down, it means we've likely burnt fat. I don't need these numbers to tell me if I burnt fat because I can see it, I can feel it, and I know the actions I'm taking every single day are burning fat. So it's cool to see at least the big one, though. This one's really interesting is visceral fat. Supposedly lost a point. I don't know if this is pounds or whatever it is. So to go from 29 to 28 is great. This is still extremely high i was about to say extremely heavy it's not that well it is heavy but that's not the point this is extremely high visceral fat is the one around your organs this is the serious fat that you want to get off so seeing this coming down is absolutely amazing this is the plan supposedly omad and other things helps burn this type of fat again if you're in your calorie deficit you're going to do it but this is the number i really want to see go down and that is absolutely amazing because yeah like i said this is the fat all around your organs and things the da- the seriously dangerous one Seeing that coming down, amazing. I believe I started around 30, so for that to only come down two in 74 days, well, I, I still think it's pretty good. It'll be interesting to see if it continues to pull down on the rate. Definitely something I'm going to be tracking weekly. Body water, interestingly, the water weight's gone up. I don't know why that could be. Again, I might have drunk more or something than the previous day. These numbers don't mean too much to me. Skeletal muscle, don't really care about that as well. Not entirely sure what that means, but 0.2% doesn't really matter these numbers muscle mass supposedly gone down again 0.8 pounds so interesting body water has gone up muscle mass gone down i don't really know why that is but again 0.8 i'm losing weight i'm losing weight of course it's not going to be all fat especially if it's three pounds rather than the two kind of predicted pounds but again don't really care about this number because then i'll refeed this will probably likely shoot up again because of all filling glycogen and things So that's 0.8. And then my BMR supposedly is 2,273 calories now. That's because I'm lighter. This rate, if you don't know what a BMR is, it's basically how many calories my body... But if I was in a coma and I was just lying down, literally not moving or whatever, just to sustain my life and my weight, it would be 2,273 calories. So that's actually interesting, pretty much what I eat daily around that. Um, actually a bit below but I can eat below I normally wouldn't advise eating below but if you're that heavy like me I can get away with eating below so that's why we're seeing so many results as well just in that extreme steep calorie deficit so these are the numbers just the changes the main one I care about is that three pounds and that visceral fat and I guess subcutaneous fat going down too they're the ones I care about the water and things even the muscle mass and stuff I'm not too worried about because these numbers just change if you have more water one day maybe weighing in earlier depends on your last meal type things so hope that's kind of interesting as well to check and i'll just break down as well the macros of the food so some of you may be interested in this protein 184 which is still pretty high obviously carbs 334 i believe i ate more carbs last week so we'll see what happens with that i probably actually want to get that near 400 But again, I'm trying to enjoy this day a bit too. I'm not stressing about it too much. As long as my food's in my calorie calorie goal, I don't really care, to be honest. So I'm not being too anal about it. Fiber 25, I don't really care about that. Sugar 120, yes, there's a fair amount of sugar. A lot of it from fruit and stuff too. Fat 69, fat's going to come with some of the other things. So that's to be expected. And then saturated fat 17. So that's pretty much it. You can see the the macro split there, 50% carbs, then fat and protein pretty much split. So all in all, the the day's done what I wanted to do. I've got to include some treats, still got good food in there as well. The bulk of my calories uh, coming from whole foods too. But now it's just time to flip the switch back on. We'll remove carbs now for a bit for, for the sick. Well, this way, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do because I'm not going to refeed next Monday because my birthday's on Wednesday. So I'll speak about that in another video. I'll speak about that in another one. This one's probably getting along, to, uh, getting on too long. Uh, I'm going to wrap it up here, people. It'll be interesting to see what I weigh tomorrow. Aiming then for another two pound weight loss at the end of the week. But if if I can get down another three, I'll be absolutely amazing. Uh, so that's it from me, people. Have a lovely day. Peace.